Tears of the Kingdom 1.2.0 can feel a bit limiting, and maybe you're yearning for the days of old where you had the YB glider dupe and the message not found Master Sword. You can return to 1.0, but it requires you to be on a physical version, delete all your data, and re-download all your games you may have downloaded. And you cannot get your old Tears of the Kingdom save back, so you would have to start all over. You also lose every save for games that do not support cloud saves such as Splatoon and the Pokemon series. If you're still resolved to go back, go into your system settings and scroll all the way down until you hit format options. From there, you'll want to go to Restore Factory Settings. Once you've done this, the switch will be as if you've never held it before. Now you'll want to make sure that you don't go online when you add your profile. You can always link your Nintendo account later, but for now, go into the game as it is on 1.0. Now you are free to do whatever you want on this older version. Let me know which glitch you missed the most.